Hello, my friend. This is Greg Gomez III, and founder, CEO, FastStartMarketer.com. I want to welcome you to another uh, morning marketing tip on how to actually improve the performance of your business. And in fact, today, we're going to be covering the second part of our uh, series of three keys to financial freedom through your home-based entrepreneur business, et cetera, et cetera. This is part two. So essentially what we're going to be going over here and what we did just to recap, if you missed yesterday's video, uh, you can actually go back and watch that. Uh, the content of which is here, we covered a whole dissertation on traffic and leads, exactly what, who you should be targeting, how to actually attract them to your businesses. And today literally con uh, concentrates on part two of that, which is now that you've got traffic and leads coming to your business, what do you do? Now that you have a lead, you know, there's a big misnomer that's happening in the space right now where people are just talking about all you need is a bunch of people to come to your site and somehow magically you're going to you know, make a, a bunch of money. That that used to be true when you could focus 100% on uh, the aspect of uh, websites converting. Well, there's a lot of people that have offers online that will, will convert very effectively well. Our responsibilities as marketers is to go through and actually provide good value, niche down, and actually outperform other marketers uh, for that desire, for those results, for the benefits that they're looking to have. Let me give you a good example, very plain English to make sure this makes sense to you. Just because you have a great weight loss product <clears throat> or you have a financial services program or you have a wonderful uh, you know, legal services, supplementation, energy, juice, drink, whatever it is, essential oil, you could have something that's fantastic. That doesn't mean people want what you have to offer. You understand that? Certain people do, not everyone does. Your responsibility as a marketer is to find those folks, not only who want what you have, but are willing to pay attention to what it is you're looking for. That's everything we covered inside of Traffic and Leads. Today, we're going to actually talk about now, what do you do next? After you have these traffic and leads and you actually have people that are already interested, what do we do? <clears throat> it's very simple, my friend. The internet, gurus, marketing systems, platforms have overcomplicated the fastest path to recruiting more people into your business. I'm going to hand it to you right now. It's very simple. Most people will object to this. I literally put out a content, uh, a, an email not too long ago, and it talked about a very simple strategy to go get leads and then to get conversion. And it involved this thing that a lot of folks immediately knee-jerked and said, is there another way I could do it because I don't like doing it that way? The answer is no. You got to pick up the phone. Hashtag phone. You have to pick up the phone. If you're not willing to do that, you shouldn't be in business. It's as simple as that. Now, can you make a lot of money without using the phone? Yeah, I've made millions of dollars not even talking to people on the phone. You know how I was able to do that? Show me that, Greg. How do I do that? Well, cool. I'll show you. I picked up the phone. <laughs> Before I've made millions uh, in in. Um, money off of the internet in sales of my programs and my products and my services. You know what I did? I made a million soliciting phone calls. Okay? You want to know why my offers convert so good? Because I talked to a lot of people because I figured out what they wanted, how they wanted it, why they wanted it, what they were specifically looking for, and ultimately I put my offer in such a position that allowed them to buy. And I figured out the fastest path from what they want to getting it, and my product or service was the fastest path for them to achieve that. Do you understand that? Your goal as a marketer, your goal as a recruiter, your goal as a sales person, which is what you are at this stage in your business, unless you're making millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars and outsourcing your sales process to other people, you're not there yet. You're not there yet if you're watching this video, or if you are, and you are successful, tomorrow's is about systemization. I will talk about, in the next portion, how to actually take this and scale it out to a umpteen million dollars in revenue, if that's what you want to do. It's very simple to do. But at this point, right now, you got to get to those results. you got to get to an effective process that works, and that requires you picking up the old dialer, <laughs> contacting folks, and having a conversation. <clears throat> now, here's where a lot of folks get confused, concerned, they don't know what to say, they don't know how to say it. Greg, what do I say to get people, it's one of the second most common questions. Okay, I understand. I, I got tons of people to talk to now because of your process. These people are already interested. That's, that's great, that's a great leg up. Now what do I do? Now what do I say? How do I get them engaged? Ah, that's something I can help you with. So let's actually go through that and show you how to be able to put this together 
so that you can see how we get that done. All right, so do you need to make a million soliciting phone calls? No, you don't need to make a million soliciting phone calls. I'm gonna go over with you right now exactly how to get this process to work for you. And it comes down to six simple questions. But first I'm gonna start with a mindset, okay? A mindset. Here's what you need to understand. You're not calling to sell. That's not your responsibility. You're not calling folks, and for you to have the expectation that I'm calling somebody so that they'll buy is the wrong expectation you should be having at this stage. Your responsibility at this stage is to focus on the process. Let me explain the four, the, really the five steps that you need to go through in order to get a sale. First things first, you need to prospect. Okay, you need to talk to a person, and this is what's called the discovery phase. This is the discovery phase. We're trying to figure out what's going on. I'm going to cover that today in today's in depth. I'm going to give you six specific questions, okay, that will allow you to create a perfect presentation know exactly what your prospects are looking for and exactly how to get them from interested prospect or mildly interested or even just curious to a vehemently interested prospect ready to take a look at your next step, okay? But you need to prospect them. Then what you need to do is you need to present your materials. Now this can be done on a webinar, through a call, house party, hotel meeting, yada, yada, yada. Whatever you're doing, I call this most often the next step. It could be a webinar, it could be a conference call, it could be a you know, a VHS tape video if you're still sport rocking the VHS, whatever that is, this is your next step. Okay, so that's the presentation. So prospect present. Now you're gonna they're gonna call back and you're gonna do Q and A. Okay? This is all confusion clearing. We're eliminating confusion. Okay, we're eliminating confusion. That's our responsibility. They're probably not gonna sign up because they're confused. They need to think about it. I need to talk to my spouse. I need to go do something else before I can sign up with you. That's a sign of confusion. That's all that that is, all right? Then we objection handle, okay? So I can't because, can't cause blah, okay? Prospects literally telling you, I'd like to sign up, but I can't because blah. That's an objection, or I won't because blah. And, and I have a whole course that I dedicate to objection handling. I'm regarded as one of the world's best objection handlers. My processes are unparalleled when it comes to dealing with objections. In fact, I'm looking at a card on my desk right now that's a little um, handout that I give to my sales students that has an eight-step objection handling process so they can just walk down the line, make sure they deal with every issue um, or every specific aspect of a, an objection, and they just obliterate it. It's called the Objection Obliteration Course. Um, it's part of my selling master system. You just We'll talk about that another time. Right now, just know, identify, isolate, and obliterate whatever their concerns are. That's what you need to do. It's easier than you think. You do these other parts correctly, objection handling is not difficult. Now, we get down to the final part, which is the actual close. And this is more about managing expectations. Okay? It's all about managing expectations. So, we have a prospect that, um, you know, we're going to go reach out to them. We're going to do the discovery phase. What do you want? Why do you want it? How do you want it? Et cetera, et cetera. Then we're going to present our offer to them. It should be in alignment. You're going to frame them up properly to be able to hear this presentation. And then they call you back. They'll have some confusion, some concerns, some thoughts, some misunderstandings. You're going to deal with that through the Q&A. They're going to have some objections. They're going to say, well, I can't because blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. You'll deal with the objections. Eliminate those. Great. Are you ready? To, does that make sense? Awesome. Go get your credit card. How do you want your name to appear on your paperwork today? Is it first and last name? What are you looking for? Now, this is really more closings about a demonstration of leadership. This is very important. People want to follow strong leaders. You have to demonstrate, asking for the order is simply a demonstration of leadership. If you're not willing to do that, they can view you as weak. You don't have to have any fear in asking this. This is all stuff right here. This business right here is not as important as this one key element right here. This thing will account for 80% of your sales. Let me say that again. Doing this one thing properly, even if you flub up the rest of this, this will actually account for 80% of your sales, <coughs> prospecting properly. So how do I do that, Greg? How do I go through and actually address all of these concerns so that I'm not worrying about this long term? Cool. Well, let's deal with that, shall we? Okay, so the real question becomes, how do we do that? What do we do in prospecting that will account for over 80% of our, our sales, Greg? Okay, so it's very simple. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lay out for you the six questions do this correctly, six cues, 
that will help you to create what I call a perfect presentation. Here they are. Write them down. This is in the discovery phase. This will help you overcome your fear of selling and contacting folks and prospecting because I want you to change your mindset in thinking of, oh, cool, I'm going to go out and sell folks. Now, remember how I said that. Don't do that. Your main focus is to go out there and figure out how you can help. Let me ask you a question. Is it easier to help people or is it easier to, are you more comfortable with the idea to go sell people and close them into your business, right? For most folks, you want to help. I'm going to tell you the secret. I've made a million soliciting phone calls. My concern is I don't want to go talk to folks and try to convince them to buy my stuff. That's never fun. I don't enjoy that. But if someone asks me for help, I'm all in. How can I help? Now, I have certain philosophies on what I believe help looks like. So we're going to address those for you as we go along. My main concern right now is to get you out of your, your thinking of salesmanship. See, you, you're you already a master salesperson. You know how I know this? You've helped people already in your life. People have asked for help, and you've helped them. And as a result, you've become a problem solver and someone that they know, like, and trust. Your responsibility as a marketer is to become somebody that is no liked, and trust trusted to be able to help somebody find a solution. Do you understand this? So if there are people that you know on a list, I hand you a list of 20 people, and I can tell you with confidence there's four people in there that are, that are praying for you to contact them to help them, okay? There's going to be others in there that won't be interested. It's okay. There's even going to be a couple of people in there that are going to be jerks. Don't worry about it. But there's four people in there who desperately want and need your help. And when you're off the phone with them, they're going to say, thank you. Your job as a marketer is to go find those folks to help them. You see how that changes your perspective? Would you be open to contacting those folks? Great. If that's the case, then the next question is, great, I'm happy to do that, but what do I say, right? Great. Let me give you the six things you should say. Now, this isn't a generic format, and you need to, uh, you need to adjust these to fit your specific uh, business. So what's the challenge? Okay, so this is question number one. What's the challenge? What specific issue are they are experiencing right now? This is very important. What's the challenge keeping you from? What's the challenge keeping you from? So I'm overweight. Okay, what's the overweight? What's the extra weight keeping you from? Um, and they'll say bikinis or any of that kind of stuff. I'm going to give a lot of examples here on our webinar of how to do this specifically for your businesses. So you want to register for the webinar below if you're on my page, feststartmarketer.com uh, forward slash live, all lowercase, live, uh, feststartmarketer.com forward slash live, and you can register for the webinar live where I'm going to actually go through and walk you through. You'll be there live. You'll give me your business. I'll build this process out for you. I'm going to build it out for you step by step. So what's the process keeping you from, Okay. Or what's the challenge keeping you from, rather? What solutions have you tried? Oh, apparently, I can't spell today. I didn't pay my English bill. So what solutions have you tried? What other solutions have you tried? Okay. What did you like about those solutions? What didn't you like? about those solutions. And finally, question number six, what are you hoping for in your next solution? Okay. So again, what's the challenge? What's the challenge keeping you from? What solutions have you already tried? What did you like about those solutions? What didn't you like about those solutions? And what are you hoping for in your next solution? Now, there is a seventh question I'm going to give to you live on the webinar. You got to be there live to get it. This question is a math equation. It's a math uh, equation that will literally solve all of your money woes. Asking this one question after you follow these steps, okay, and then you ask, ask the seventh question, it literally is a math equation that will solve every money woe you have ever experienced. And how can you get this question? It's very simple. All you have to do is register below. If you're on this, uh, faststartmarketer.com forward slash live for the webinar. You might have to scroll the screen down a bit. Tell me your biggest challenge with your business right now. So it's going to ask for your contact details, and it's also going to ask for your um, uh, your contact or your biggest challenge. Fill that in because I do read these. I, I, I've built my business specifically doing this process by figuring out what your challenges are 
and then doing my best to help you answer those challenges. I have a ton of knowledge in my head, but your specific issue, I mean, it comes down to a few different things. It's leads, it's, it's you know, how do I convert, in, and that becomes how do I get my prospects to do this or do that or whatever, and then how do I duplicate, right? Or how do I get my team to take off and grow and stick around and all the leadership stuff necessary for you to do that. That's, that's kind of a bulk of it. A lot of it's technology. How do I use technology to get this stuff done? Here's the thing. Although almost every networker experiences these challenges right here, your specific take, your manifestation of the challenge itself direct is what I need to know. Tell me what your specific challenge is with getting leads. I don't know where to get them. Okay, what? ask yourself these questions. What's the challenge? I don't know how to get leads. Great. What are there, what's, keep, what's having leads keeping you from? A successful business. And I go deeper. What's that business look like? If you had all the leads in the world that you possibly wanted, what does your business look like? Well, I'm getting people signed up and people are already interested. I'm helping people change their lives. Because making money is, is great, but that's not the truth. I had one of my sales reps this morning tell me, uh, I asked them, I said, what's the purpose of our business? What do we do? And they're all, make money. I'm like, no. I said, that's not it. Money is a byproduct of value creation. We'll make money if we create enough value. Our main focus is to go get people opened up so that they're ready to make a change and identify that. Because some people are, some people aren't. Are you ready for a change in your business? Yes, you are. Good. That's why, you know how I know? You're watching this video. Okay? Whether you trust me enough to help facilitate that change, that's one thing. That's a completely different thing. But are you yourself ready for a change in your business? And I don't care if you're already at six-figure results. Trust me, you're looking for bigger results. You know how I know? Because I'm at seven-figure results, and I'm looking for bigger results. I'm constantly looking for bigger results. That's the nature of either you're growing or you're dying. There is no resting. Okay? So are you committed to growing? Great. What's the challenge? Leads. What's it keeping you from? A business that thrives and I'm happy with and I can quit my job and all the other things associated with that, right? What other solutions have you tried? Have you tried other coaching programs, other lead programs? Have you tried taking all the free bits, watching videos like this to get a better understanding of the psychology and the marketing necessary behind generating all the leads you're looking for, right? What do you like about these types of things? Very informative. They're really good, et cetera, et cetera. Great. What don't you like about that? It's not enough how-to. I give you a lot of how-to, but hey, I'm going to give you even more how-to, the exact stuff that we teach on our coaching programs. You just have to show up live on our webinar by registering below, okay, and answering these questions. And what we'll do is I'll walk you through exactly what to do and how to do it so you can go get those results. So what else didn't you like? Well, it's a lot of hype. You know, I go to my corporate events and it's, it's a lot of great energy and motivation, but I don't have enough what to do and how to do it. Cool. What are you hoping for? What I'm really looking for is a simple step-by-step -step process that'll guide me through getting results in my business so I can get all my spouse and my family and my uh, friends and everyone who's doubted me off my back to prove to them that I'm actually successful in my business. Can you tell that I've done a little research on this? This isn't just, you know, it's a hair club for men. It's, I'm not just a, uh, the president. I'm also the, I'm a, I'm a member, right? Or I'm a client. It's true. I went through all of these things too. For me, those were big motivators, but I want to know specifically for you. Tell me the exact story that you went through. Because then I can give you the equation that will not only solve the challenge for you and your business, but I can also show you how to help other people fix that challenge. So that it doesn't, it's not limited to being in business. It could be, you know, I want to achieve my weight loss goals. I want to achieve my uh, financial goals. I want to achieve my, my health goals. I want to achieve my parenting goals. Whatever it is, this process works for that. Because it's not just about business. It's about being the best person that you can be and knowing the right process on how to figure out the step-by-step -step processes to go get the results you're looking for. Man, we're going deep here. Didn't intend to go this deep. When I talk about three keys to freedom, this is it. Go get traffic and leads. Go get conversion. This is the first part of that. Next step. You ready? Tomorrow's video, I'm going to lay out how you scale this process out to a multi-six and seven-figure business. In six months, this is what allowed me to add up to 247 people every week into my team. How do you get all the details? Register for the webinar below. Click now, take action. Do me a favor. Did you get value out of this video? I like presenting these videos, but I want to make sure you're getting real value out of this. And if you are, like, comment, share. Go out on Facebook. Take the link above that you see up here in the uh, URL. Copy that. Go paste that in your Facebook page saying anybody who wants a real good solid marketing lesson to come. They don't even have to register for the webinar. If they do, great. I'd encourage them to. But if they don't, have them watch these videos this is a powerful process. This is exactly what I do in my businesses. When I consult for companies that aren't going where they want to go, multi six and seven and eight figure businesses, this is the stuff I go through that helps identify where they're weak in their business. It's not magic. It's simple processes they miss that once they're fixed, they make a big difference and they will work for you too. But you got to start by registering for the webinar and I will see you on this week's webinar. Have a good one and I will talk to you then, my friend. Take care. Bye-bye.